Hello everyone, and welcome to DevWave Diaries. Here, we dive into the latest web development trends and coding techniques. If you're passionate about tech and eager to learn, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to show you how to create an eye-catching color-filling text animation. First, let's create an H1 tag and type any text you want. For example, I'll write DevWave Diaries. This is all the HTML code we need for this animation. Now, let's add the CSS boilerplate code. Set margin and padding to zero to remove any default spacing around elements. Then, set box sizing to border box, which makes sure that padding and borders are included in the element's total width and height. Finally, set the font family to sans serif for a clean, modern look. Next, let's style the body element. Set the width to 100% and min height to 100VH to make sure the content takes up the full viewport height. Use display, flex to enable flexible box layout, and then use justify content, center and align items, center to center the content both horizontally and vertically. Finally, set the background color to hash 081B29 to give the page a dark, modern look. This styling will ensure that your content is perfectly centered on the screen. Next, let's style the H1 tag to make it stand out. Start by setting the position to relative, which allows for more control over the element's positioning later on. Set the font size to 8REM to make the text large and eye-catching. To create a cool outline effect, set the color to transparent and apply WebKitex stroke with a width of 0.1 rem and a color of hash 00ABF0. This will give the text a sleek, outlined appearance with a vibrant blue color, making it visually striking. Next, we'll enhance the H1 tag with a background effect. Start by adding a background image with a linear gradient that transitions from hash 00ABF0 to hash 00ABF0. This creates a solid blue background layer. Set background repeat to no repeat to ensure the background doesn't repeat, and position it using background position set to 00, which anchors the background to the top left corner. Now open the browser, you'll see a blue color box appearing in front of the text. After that, add WebKit background clip, text, to the H1 tag. This will ensure that the gradient background is clipped to the text, creating a stunning effect where the text appears to be filled with the gradient color. Open the inspect window and select the H1 tag. Go to the background position settings and change the position from 0 to minus 10 REM. This will create an effect where the background color appears to move and become empty from the end side of the text. We can use this concept to create a dynamic animation effect. Now let's create an animation by using the animation property with the values animate 6 second linear infinite. This will apply the animation named animate that lasts for 6 seconds, runs with a constant speed, and repeats indefinitely. Next, let's create an animation using at keyframe animate. In the at keyframes rule, set 0% keyframe to define the starting point of the animation and add 80% keyframe for ending point. Or 0% keyframe set back or position. But we don't know currently the starting position, we have to calculate the starting position. Open the browser, then open the inspect tab. Select the H1 element and go to the CSS background position. Add some negative values and decrease it gradually to find the minimum position where the entire text becomes transparent. This helps determine the exact position for the start of the animation. For example, here it is minus 64 REM. Add minus 64 REM0. For the 80% keyframe, set the background position to 0, 0. This will create a smooth beautiful animation effect, making the text transition from being fully visible to gradually becoming transparent. Now add in the 0% keyframe, a 100% keyframe also. This will ensure that the text starts as transparent, becomes fully colored in the middle of the animation, and ends as transparent again. In the 80% keyframe, add a 90% keyframe also. This ensures that after the text becomes fully colored, it stays that way for a moment before gradually becoming transparent again. After that, add a 10% keyframe between 0% and 100%. This will ensure that after the text becomes transparent, it pauses for a moment before starting to fill with color again. Now, let's add a padding of 01 REM to the H1 tag. Since we've added extra padding, the starting point of the animation has shifted. Let's first comment the animation line. After that we'll need to recalculate the starting background position to align the animation correctly. 
First, let's add the previous value of minus 64 REM to the background position. After that, we need to gradually decrease this value to find the new minimum position where the text becomes fully transparent. For this case, the new value become minus 66 REM. Here, we've added 1 REM of padding to both the left and right sides, so the new position is shifted by 2 REM. Now, uncomment the animation line in your code, and when you open the browser, you'll see that the animation is now working perfectly, with the text smoothly transitioning from transparent to fully colored and back again. Let's add a before element to the h1 tag using the h1 before selector. Start by setting content, to create an empty element, then position it absolutely with position, absolute, ensuring it stays relative to the h1 tag. We align it to the top left corner using left, 0 and top, 0. The element's width is set to 0% initially, with a height that covers the full height of the text using height, 100%. Finally, we add a border right, for px solid hash 00 abf0, giving it a vibrant blue color that matches our text. This border will create a sleek line effect next to the text. Now, open the inspect tab in your browser, and select the h1 tags before element. Then, locate the width property in the CSS panel. Use the up arrow key to gradually increase the width. As you do this, you'll notice that the blue line starts moving across the text. We'll use this technique to create an animated effect. Next, add the animation by using animation, line animate 6 second linear infinite. To create the line animate keyframe, copy the existing animate keyframe by using Alt plus Shift plus down arrow to paste it below. Change the name of the copied keyframe to line animate. Set the width to 0% for the first keyframe and 100% for the next keyframe. Now, open the browser and refresh it. You'll see that the line moves linearly, filling the text with blue color as it progresses. Creating a beautiful text color filling animation with a line effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.